Hi, everybody. Poppy Kirchival for Tony Committee tonight on Gold and Blue Now. Okay, everybody's concerned about what's going to happen with the coaching staff at West Virginia. Who's going to fill those three defensive spots now that Castile and Lockwood and Kalavich are gone, gone to Arizona? Well, published reports are starting to circulate about a couple of names. First of all, Oklahoma State associate head coach and special teams coordinator Joe DeForest appears to be headed to WVU. Now, it hasn't been officially announced, but it looks like DeForest will, in fact, be coming to WVU. Now, at least two more spots to be filled at West Virginia. One may go to the Oklahoma defensive coordinator, Brent Venables. Now, Metro News contacted the Tulsa World News today, and they said, this report said, that West Virginia had made an offer to Venables. But again, no official announcement, but it looks like Venables might be in the mix as well. Both Venables and DeForest have been very active in recruiting in the Texas Gulf Coast area and the Houston area, so you can see how that might change West Virginia's recruiting tactics if they come on board. Venables opened up his search for a new job this week after Oklahoma hired former Arizona head coach Mike Stoops to rejoin his brother and coach on the defensive side there at Oklahoma. So we are pretty confident that DeForest is in and Venables looks like he's in as well. We'll keep you posted. And also, for breaking news on that, follow at WV. MetroNews.com. Okay, let's get to basketball. West Virginia and Rutgers coming up. West Virginia's already played. Rutgers won that ball game. Rutgers comes in 10-7, and 2-2 two and two in the Big East. And Rutgers has been playing well of late. They have two consecutive wins. They beat UConn and Pitt. So obviously they're playing good basketball. And here's what Coach Bob Huggins says about the rematch with Rutgers. They play defense. They just stack everything on the help line and we skipped it over them and you think about it, Truck made shots and A.B. made shots, and, and that kind of opened things up a little bit for us. But, you know, Tony, how crazy is our league? I mean, unbelievable. The people who, you know, generally speaking, and I, I, and I don't want to insult anybody because those guys are doing a terrific job of coaching, but the South Floridas and the Providences and the Rutgers, and they have all, I mean, become very formidable. Now, the Scarlet Knights had one of the top recruiting classes in the conference heading into this season, so that makes you think they're a young team that's just going to get better. One freshman has been fantastic, leading the team in scoring, averaging 14 points a game, and that's guard Eli Carter. West Virginia must defend him in that ball game against Rutgers. Coach Mike Rise talks about his team coming together now at the midpoint of the season. This team is starting to understand uh, our formula, understanding what I want uh, as far as offensively, uh, where the ball should go and the, the flow and the kind of uh, the execution of that, that we need to, to be successful. And defensively, uh, we're a little different with our switching and we're not making so many uh, mistakes uh, on the defensive side. Now, there are going to be a lot of familiar faces around the WVU Coliseum this weekend. It's reunion weekend for the Mountaineer basketball team. A lot of the greats coming back. You'll see them around. And we'll be covering it here at WVMetroNews.com. We'll have some interviews with them, which will post on our website at WVMetroNews.com and also here on Golden Blue Now. So that's it for this edition of Gold and Blue Now. For our producer, Chip Fontanaza, I'm Hoppy Kirchhoff. Don't forget, keep up with the very latest on this coaching situation at our website at wvmetronews.com. For Gold and Blue Now, I'm Hoppy Kirchival.